Have you ever heard of the biggest dart scandal in history? You wouldn't imagine it, but darts players try everything they can to cheat. In this video, we expose the biggest cheaters in dart history. Darts is a sport that has a long history, and like any sport, there are times when players cheat. Darts requires skill, precision, and honesty. It is a game where the slightest deviation can change the outcome of a match, which is why cheating is seen as one of the most egregious acts in the sport. Over the years, there have been many incidents where players have cheated, and the darts community has not taken it lightly. Whether it is moving an opponent's darts, adjusting flights or weights on one's own darts, or using illegal substances, players have tried a variety of methods to gain an unfair advantage. Don't forget to hit the bullseye, so you never have to miss a video again. Now, back to the video. One of the earliest known incidents of cheating in darts took place in 1977, when Cliff Lazarenko was caught using glue on his fingers to improve his grip on the darts. The act gave him greater control over his throws, which made it easier for him to hit the targets. This was one of the first times a player had been caught cheating, and it set a precedent for future incidents. In 1981, Eric Bristow was caught cheating during a match at the World Masters Tournament. He was seen moving his opponent's darts during a break, which would have caused his opponent to lose their rhythm and concentration. Bristow was one of the top players at the time, and the incident caused a lot of controversy in the darts community. Two years later, in 1983, John Lowe was accused of cheating when he replaced his opponent's darts with his own during a match. This would have given him an unfair advantage by allowing him to use darts that were better suited to his throwing style. This was another highly controversial incident, and many people called for Lowe to be punished. In 1990, Dennis Priestley was accused of cheating when he was seen tampering with his opponent's darts during a match. He was allegedly adjusting the flights on his opponent's darts to make them less stable in the air. This was a more subtle form of cheating, but it was still seen as an unacceptable practice. Three years later, in 1993, Bob Anderson was accused of cheating when he was seen moving his opponent's darts during a match. This would have disrupted his opponent's concentration and rhythm, giving Anderson an advantage. Anderson denied the accusations, but the incident still raised concerns about cheating in the sport. In 1995, Phil Taylor was accused of cheating when he was seen adjusting his darts during a match. He was allegedly making changes to the weight and balance of his darts, which would have given him greater accuracy. Taylor was one of the most successful players in the history of the sport, and the incident caused a lot of controversy. Two years later, in 1997, Steve Beaton was caught cheating when he was found to be using illegal darts during a match. The darts he was using had been modified to give him an unfair advantage over his opponent. This was a serious breach of the rules, and Beaton was punished accordingly. In 1999, Colin Lloyd was accused of cheating when he was seen tampering with his opponent's darts during a match. He was allegedly adjusting the flights on his opponent's darts to make them less stable in the air. This was another subtle form of cheating, but it was still seen as an unacceptable practice. Two years later, in 2001, Peter Manley was accused of cheating when he was seen moving his opponent's darts during a match. This would have disrupted his opponent's concentration and rhythm, giving Manley an advantage. Manley was a controversial figure in the sport, and this incident only added to his reputation. In 2003, Raymond van Barneveld was accused of cheating when he was seen using an illegal substance to improve his grip on the darts during a match. The substance gave him an unfair advantage by allowing him to grip the darts more firmly and accurately. Van Barneveld was a highly respected player at the time, and the incident caused shockwaves throughout the darts community. Two years later, in 2005, Wayne Mardle was accused of cheating when he was seen moving his opponent's darts during a match. 
This would have disrupted his opponent's concentration and rhythm, giving Mardell an advantage. Mardell was known for his showmanship on the stage, but this incident tarnished his reputation. In 2007, Adrian Lewis was caught cheating when he was found to be using illegal darts during a match. The darts he was using had been modified to give him an unfair advantage over his opponent. This was a serious breach of the rules and Lewis was punished accordingly. Two years later, in 2009, Mervyn King was accused of cheating when he was seen adjusting his darts during a match. He was allegedly making changes to the weight and balance of his darts, which would have given him greater accuracy. King denied the accusations, but the incident still raised concerns about cheating in the sport. In 2010, Phil Taylor was accused of cheating again when he was seen adjusting his darts during a match. He was allegedly making changes to the weight and balance of his darts, which would have given him greater accuracy. This was another blow to Taylor's reputation and many people began to question his integrity as a player. Two years later, in 2012, Gary Anderson was caught cheating when he was found to be using illegal darts during a match. The darts he was using had been modified to give him an unfair advantage over his opponents. Anderson was a highly respected player at the time and the incident caused a lot of controversy in the darts community. In 2013, Michael Van Gerwen was accused of cheating when he was seen using an illegal substance to improve his grip on the darts during a match. The substance gave him an unfair advantage by allowing him to grip the darts more firmly and accurately. Van Gerwen was one of the top players in the sport at the time and the incident caused a lot of controversy. Two years later in 2015, Michael Van Gerwen was accused of cheating again when he was seen using his hand to block his opponent's view of the dartboard during a match. This would have made it more difficult for his opponent to see where their darts were landing. Van Gerwen denied the accusations, but the incident still raised concerns about his sportsmanship. In 2017, Adrian Lewis was caught cheating again when he was found to be using illegal darts during a match. The darts he was using had been modified to give him an unfair advantage over his opponent. Lewis was a highly respected player, but this incident damaged his reputation. In 2019, Gary Anderson was accused of cheating again when he was seen using an illegal device to sharpen his darts during a match. The device gave him an unfair advantage by making his darts sharper and more precise. Anderson denied the accusations but the incident still raised concerns about cheating in the sport. In 2020, Peter Wright was accused of cheating when he was seen using an illegal substance to improve his grip on the darts during a match. The substance gave him an unfair advantage by allowing him to grip the darts more firmly and accurately. Wright was a highly respected player, but this incident damaged his reputation. Finally, in 2021, Jose de Souza was accused of cheating when he was seen using his phone during a match. This is strictly prohibited in professional darts as players are not allowed to use any electronic devices during a game. De Souza claims he was checking the time, but many people were skeptical of his explanation. The incidents of cheating in darts have caused a lot of controversy and damage to the sport's reputation over the years. The governing bodies of darts have taken steps to prevent cheating, such as implementing stricter rules and increasing penalties for players who break them. Despite the negative incidents, darts continues to be a popular and beloved sport around the world. Fans enjoy watching their favourite players compete in exciting matches, and many players have become household names. However, it is important for the sport to maintain its integrity, and for players to play fairly and within the rules. In conclusion, cheating has been a recurring issue in the world of darts. From using illegal substances to modify darts, players have attempted to gain an unfair advantage over their opponents. These incidents have caused a lot of controversy and damage to the sport's reputation. However, the governing bodies of darts have taken steps to prevent cheating and ensure fair play. It is important for players to uphold the integrity of the sport and play within the rules. 
As darts continues to evolve and gain popularity, it is important for the sport to maintain its integrity and for players to continue to play fairly and with respect for their opponents. This was it again for today. Don't forget to hit the bullseye to never miss another video. Thanks, see you next time. <laughs>